Are LED UVB lamps safe? Let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Mariah Healy and I'm a professional reptile husbandry specialist and the author of Reptophiles.com. LED bulbs are all the rage right now as the new energy efficient alternative to the incandescent lighting we've been living with for years. After all, why use 60 watts of electricity when you can get the same amount of light from your 9 watts? And thanks to lamps like the Arcadia Jungle Dawn LED bar, we're seeing just how much of a difference swapping LEDs for fluorescence can make in plant growth. Now, here's the thing. UVB lamps for reptiles are more complicated than lighting up a room or growing plants even. They need to cover a variety of wavelengths within the spectrum of ultraviolet B, as well as provide an even proportion of ultraviolet A alongside it. LED diodes are each attuned to a specific frequency, and even though LED lamps have lots of these diodes placed in an array, the resulting light does not have as even a mix of wavelengths as what fluorescence can produce. This is important because although there is a certain wavelength of UVB known to be the most efficient ingredient in synthesizing vitamin D3, the process is not quite that simple. Energy from multiple wavelengths within the UVB spectrum is utilized to make vitamin D3, and even UVA appears to play an important role in helping a reptile's body stop making vitamin D3 when it has enough. A common issue with LED UVB lamps is that they don't have enough UVA diodes in the array, creating a quite real danger of reptiles who are exposed to these lamps, producing so much vitamin D3 that they develop vitamin D toxicity. In other words, although UVB LED lamps are currently available for purchase, the technology isn't quite ready to be safely used with reptiles. One day, I am sure that will change, but for now, better stick with the fluorescence. For more professional reptile care advice, make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a heart for the algorithm.